So before we begin our class, let us all pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In this video, our main topic is on experiment, outcome, sample space, and event. We have our learning objective, illustrates an experiment, outcome, sample space, sample point, and event. So after taking the exploration, by just simply choosing the appropriate word to complete the statement. We have number one, to God, nothing is impossible. We have number two, now is your chance to change for the better. Number three, I'm certain that you can do better than what is expected of you. Number four, given the chance to win in math contest, I prefer the four in five chance. And lastly, you and I have even chance to succeed in life. Have you answered it mentally on the given guide questions indicated in your learning guide? We have number one guide question is, are those words familiar to you? Maybe some of you answered yes and the others answered it as no or not familiar. So number two, what particular topic comes to your mind when you see the words in the illustration or in the given exploration part of this lesson? So the particular topic is on probability, but this week we will just focus first on the basic terms that is related to probability and after next week we will deal on solving probability of a certain events. So what qualitative terms can be used to express probable occurrences of events in a man's life? So we have impossible, unlikely, uncertain, chance, odds, likely, certain, and many more. So now let's be familiarized on probability first before we deal on the basic terms that is connected into it. So probability is a branch of mathematics that is concerned with analyzing the chance to a particular event that will occur. We have also its purpose is to attempt to predict the likelihood that something will or will not happen. So it can express as a fraction, as a decimal, and a person. So let's have an example. So the direction is tell whether each event is certain, impossible, or possible. Number one, student who study hard get high grades. That is possible. Number two, Tamarind is SAR. Your answer is 
Correct. It's certain. And we have number T. We will go sunbathing tonight. And your answer is impossible. And that is correct. So we have now the following basic terms related to probability. Number one, we have experiment. Experiment is refers to any situational activities or our activities that involve chances. Or like making observation, if we observe something that involves chances or taking measurement, that is experiment. The most familiar experiment that were being used in probability is on tossing a die or flipping a coin. We have number two, we have outcome. So an outcome is any possible result of an experiment. For example, the given experiment we have is flipping a coin, then maybe the outcome will be head or maybe the other outcome will be tail. The other experiment, if you roll a die, maybe um, your outcome is 1, 2, up to 6. That is an outcome or possible result of your experiment. We have the third basic terms related to probability which is called as the sample space. Sample space is the complete list of all possible outcomes of the given experiment. And in mathematics, it is denoted by a capital letter S. We have also this symbol read as the number of sample is based. For example, we have the experiment flipping a coin and rolling a die. So the sample is based here in flipping a coin. It is just head and tail. So the number of it sample space is 2 or simply by just counting the possible outcomes of our experiment which is head and tail and it gives us 2 and we have the experiment rolling a die the sample space on this given experiment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the given number of sample space on this experiment is Sixth. So we have also the fourth term, which is sample point. Sample point is just one of the possible outcomes. So it depends on you on what you want or what sample point on the given experiment you want to get. For example, head is one of the sample point of our given experiment in flipping a coin. If you want also to get two, this is an example of sample point in the um, experiment rolling a die. So we have more example on experiment, sample space and sample point. We have flipping two coins, rolling a die, rolling a coin and a die simultaneously. For example, this one. So if you roll a coin and a die, so the sample space here is, it is possible for you to get head and 1, head and 2, head and 3, head and 4, head and 5, head and 6, tail 1 up to tail 6. So it's up to you if you want to, to get sample point on this given experiment. So the given sample point in this given experiment is T3 or tail 3. We have also drawing a card from a deck of 52 cards. So in the 52 cards, we have 13 diamonds, 13 hearts, 13 spades, 13 clubs, or ace. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, jack, queen, and king. So the given sample point in this given sample is queen of hearts. So we have the fifth term, which is called as the event. So event is any set of one or more outcomes satisfying some given conditions. For examples, getting a head, head, head when flipping a three coin, that is an event. 
We have also other example, choosing a queen from a deck of cards or any of the four queens. That is also an event. And another example, getting an odd number, 1, 3, or 5 when rolling a die. That is an event. For additional reference or additional readings, you may refer also on your textbook, pages 414 to 416. For your practice, you just go back to your learning guide and open it on the last page. For this practice and for you to know if you understood the lesson, you need to accomplish first the drill before you look at the attached answer key on the learning guide. So if you have more questions or queries, clarification, you just send a message during our class. In connection of this lesson in real life, many things in life are uncertain. We often ask questions on ourselves that can be answered with words such as maybe, likely, perhaps, or probably. We ask such questions because we are uncertain whether such events will occur or not. What are the different tips you have in uplifting yourself for you to be not doubtful? According to Proverbs 16, 8, better is a little with the righteousness than vast revenues without justice. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching and listening. Keep safe and God bless.